Okay, okay Acting Detective Superintendent Gary, J W O Y Watts, W A T T S, from Organised Crime Group, State Crime Operations Command. I'm, I'm open for questions. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Uh, uh, operation Resolve, uh, Task Force Resolve. Big movements there today. Any, any, if you've started today? That's correct. Task Force Resolve uh, commenced uh, working today and have come down to the South Eastern Region to assist South Eastern Region detectives in relation to the investigation for the armed robbery at the Kira Sports Club. Sure. So that would be now eight that you're looking at. We heard last week the Commissioner said there were seven. Um, serious violent crimes that you would be looking at, but this would be the eighth, will it? That's correct. We're uh, looking at uh, historic armed robberies that have been committed uh, within the region over a period of time. Uh, there are seven that uh, are committed on hard targets that we're specifically interested in, but also uh, we're looking at current um, robberies and other serious and violent crimes committed within the region, and we'll certainly be doing our best to assist the southeastern region in solving those offences. How is it set up? Are you, have you got a particular base or are you spread out throughout the different um, CIBs? No, we have a base of operations in State Crime Operations Command, but we're also working within the region as well to, uh, to provide on-the-ground support in investigating these types of offences. And within the region, does that mean a particular station or do you have offices where they needed, they sort of move where they're needed? Oh, they'll move where they're needed, but... Um Probably initially we'll be based at Coomera CIB, initially, but uh, we're, uh, we're flexible and we'll adapt and, and go to where, uh, where we're needed to uh, provide the, uh, the best support we can. It's pretty shocking, isn't it, I suppose, that this is the day you're starting and you, you already have a, a fresh one. I mean, what's the thoughts on that? Um, well, we will investigate offences as they occur, where they occur within the region. Um, and we, we, we will fully expect to be investigating offences within this region. The Commissioner's got big expectations. He was really adamant that you guys were going to make a big difference when, when, you, when you got down here. That's something you're confident of, of, of doing? You want to put the warning out there for people? Oh, very much so. We've got a team of 18 dedicated investigators that will work within the region and with, with the regional detectives, and I'm sure we're going to make a difference to, uh, to crime within the southeastern region. And were those, any of those officers on the ground at Kira Sports Club today? Uh, yes, we did, uh, yes, we dispatched uh, six investigators to assist initially. Um, to, uh, to work with the South Eastern Region investigators on this offence. So they've hit the ground running? That's correct, yes. Does it change the way you investigate things? Is there more intensity now because there is a special task force? Is, is there a different sort of intensity to investigating these now? Um, well, we've had the armed robbery unit within State Crime Operations Command for quite some time now. Uh, that's been enhanced and uh, staff haven't increased. Um, and we will be able to focus the energies of those 18 investigators on the, uh, on the offences as I've outlined. So, so does the fact that you guys are you know, hitting the ground running today add weight or sort of vindicate the calls that have come in the past for such a task force? No, I don't think so. Uh, the establishment of a task force is a matter for the Commissioner. That's been done and we're, uh, we're ready to get into the work and, uh, and help uh, and, and commence investigating the offences. I suppose we would have hoped, like everyone would have hoped when it was announced that that might be enough to deter crime, but it's still going to happen, isn't it? It doesn't matter what you do, there's always going to be people out there, I guess? That's correct, yes. And what do you, well, I mean, what do you say to the public when they when they hear that another crime happening down here? What would you say to reassure them? We investigate the matters uh, as, as best we can. Um, our intention is to solve as many as we can, and to put the offenders uh, before the justice system. And then um, Brian mentioned earlier that um, police will be working with the Tweed officers in New South Wales. Will you guys be doing the same? If during the course of our investigations, that's the way the investigation unfolds, most definitely. The number seven, is there any reason that, that makes those ones stand out from the rest? Uh, we've reviewed um, the, uh, the offences that have been committed within the region and seven uh, offences are what we have identified that uh, are possibly linked and are committed on hard targets such, such as taverns and those sorts of uh, premises. Does that mean um, that you, you think that there might be a group that's sort of working collaboratory on these sort of things? Like, um, do you, are you looking at maybe just one group for those seven? Oh, I wouldn't pin it down to one group, but we're certainly looking at the, the links between the uh, the seven offences, and if we can establish uh, those links, we'll be investigating those. You can't name the seven? <laughs> the offence? Seven offences? Yeah. Offhand? No, no, not offhand. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Could we get that information from you? Yes. Okay. Yes.